Hey everyone, as a young teenager then I used to be really quite flexible and then I had an injury, I sat on my ass for five years and I did no stretching and I became incredibly inflexible. And um, I remember going back to classes after five years and trying to stretch and I was so embarrassed because I just couldn't do any of the stretches, I just couldn't reach far enough. And so I've got two stretches that I found that, um, that helped me get over that hump till I could do the other stretches. So this is a stretching tutorial if you're in my stage. So a quick way to tell if you're at the beginner level of stretching is a thing called sitting on your legs. So I remember in classes they used to tell me when I was stretching, sit on your legs, not on your bum. And it, I didn't get it, but what it really means is when you're sitting with your legs apart, then if you can't support yourself without your hands and lean forward past 90 degrees, then you're sitting on your bum. But if you can go past 90 degrees, then these stretches probably aren't for you because you're at a higher level. So the first stretch is a hamstring stretch and it's just using gravity. And before stretching, I recommend that you take a run um, or do some sort of warm up so your muscles are a little bit more warm and they're a little bit looser. It will help you stretch better. And so with this first one, then your feet don't have to be together, just legs straight so that they're straight at the knees. And you just want to bend down and use gravity. And a tip that I found really helpful is do it in the shower because the warm water loosens up the muscles, helps you stretch a lot better. And it was what pushed me over the edge so that I could actually um, do the stretching. So when I first started, um, then my maximum stretch was here, I could get to my knees and a little bit beyond and that was it. And so as you can tell it was pretty embarrassing um, and I didn't want to do stretching out around other people. So stretching in the shower really helped that. Now if you're in an area with water restrictions, then turn off the water, you just need that warmth around you. And so for the stretch, just bend down, lean down, hold it for about 10 seconds and then I want you to breathe out. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But when you breathe out, focus on relaxing everything and try and go further. So you start, just hang where it's comfortable. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, and then stretch further. And hold that for another 10 seconds. And then repeat. In and out. And if you just do that every day, then I went from here to all the way down to the floor and a little bit further. So that's the first stretch. Alright, so this second stretch is a hip adductor stretch. It helps you spread your legs further so you can get those high kicks a little bit better. And the standard box split type stretch, and you keep going to it until you get further, is a good stretch. But if you've got knee problems like I do, it's quite painful and it's bad for your knees. So this second stretch uses gravity. Uh, and unlike the first stretch, which is a 30 second overall stretch or 40 second, in this one, you can sit in for five to 10 minutes. So for the stretch, all you need is a wall and a floor at 90 degrees to each other, which is hopefully every floor and wall in your house. And all you've got to do is put your legs up against it and spread them and gravity will do the rest. Like this. And so in this stretch, you just sit here for five or 10 minutes, think calm thoughts and try and relax. And when your legs get comfortable in one position, then just try to inch or more another millimeter over and keep progressing for the full five or ten minutes. So the easiest way to get into your position for this stretch is sit close to a wall, get your bum close to it and then you just want to roll. And then scoop your bum up against the wall. And the most important thing is that your bum is no more than five or ten centimeters away from the wall so that you've got a 90 degree angle in your hips and you stretch it out properly. And so there's lots of things you can do in this position while you wait. You can read a book. You can even get real comfy and watch a movie while you stretch. Just remember, don't fall asleep in this stretch or you won't, you won't be able to get out of it. So those are the two stretches that helped me get to a level where I could start doing the stretches with the rest of the class and also without shame. Um, I'll type them out below so that you don't have to watch the whole video every time. You can just see them as written instructions. I hope they help you and I'll see you next time.